don't you want to win? I mean, like, of course we all, like, wanted to win, but it's to the point where, like, nobody really makes it this far, and, like, for a 16-year-old and some, someone like Philip. <laughs> yeah. Someone like Philip. Like he's Old he's man. no. Yeah. <laughs> he's goofy and he's funny and he's just an amazing artist, an amazing person overall. Are you nervous when from the Philippines and you have a lot of the fans there? Um, that's where your mom came from. You have a message for your fans. Uh, what, what do you want to say to them? They're all they're great fans. Um, just that um, thank you um, and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. And, uh, I'm performing today in front of about uh, 7,000 people. It was so, so fun. It was uh, scared to death. But, uh, you know, went out there, finally, finally loosened up, you know, throughout, you know, staying by me and uh, then had to run the rest of the How did you get to choose the last song? Uh, no, we kind of didn't really choose, have a lot of time to choose it, so I didn't, you know, I kind of wanted to do the wrong thing, but, you know, always, you know, time. Do so much, so uh, I'm looking forward, you know, to putting out more of stuff. Which of the three performances tonight were your favorites? Uh, probably all three Jessica's. Oh yeah, mine too. All the performances. Jessica, we are aware of the incredible support that the Filipino Americans gave you, like they distributed flyers in churches, you know, flooded on Facebook, and all sorts of postcards asking for calls or books. Like really sweet, but like literally, like I don't even know what happens out of American Idol. I mean, yeah, we, we have no time. Like, like yeah, we, we try so hard to contact our fans and see what's going on, but literally, like we're in the American Idol bubble, we don't know what goes on outside of it. So when we went home, that's probably the most we've seen, you know, from the support. Did you, have, yep. did you guys get to talk to the judges after? And if so, what did they say to you? Not really. I mean, we never really get to like talk to them after. I mean, everything. Every interaction we get is on stage. So, um, yeah, I mean, everything they talk about, like when they give us like constructive criticism, I mean, I think we both take it and we work on it and we just thank them so much because they're just trying to make us a better musician. Have you processed what they said tonight about your performances? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, have you processed what the judges told you about the performances tonight? Uh, yeah, we, you know, it's probably so much you can take. You know, you want to, you know, they, they want to help us out, and you know, we take it in. And, you know, sometimes it helps, and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, we just we take the best of what we can. Are you afraid that you're going to miss any tour dates if you uh, go through the surgery? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm excited for the tour. How do you guys plan on getting sleep tonight? Uh, <laughs> plan on shutting all the lights off. <laughs> Crawling in the bed and head on the pillow and fall asleep. Maybe getting a Ford car. Uh, I'll probably take both of Jessica's because she wants to get me another car. You know what kind of thing is it? Is it going to be a hybrid or a plug in or you know? No, we have. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't even know what's happening. So yeah. uh, we're excited to see what happens. Yeah. You both talk about how you feel at a certain point after, after all the songs that you gave. Can you guys uh, on a personal note, how you, how you felt about it? I mean, we just feel like, like I said, like a weight has been lifted off our shoulders. I mean, it's like tomorrow is the last episode of the season, and I think we're just really relieved, and we're going to miss each other so much. We're going to be on tour together, but I mean, this competition has taught us so much, and it's been really tiring, too. So I think we're. Uh, yeah, exactly. You, you know, you make friends, you know, and you, know, you have some, you're closer to some than others, you know, but you're all, you're all close and you talk, you know, with one another. So you really, you know, depend on some people, you know, like Colton and Hiju, I was really close with in the least. <laughs> So, and when it narrows down, you know, less and less people, it gets a little tougher, you know, so you have to, you know, you got your family. You know, you always have your family, but sometimes it's tough to talk to them as well. Yeah. We have time for one more question. So come yeah, Gina. Gina. Oh, we've got a well, question. Right down here, guys. So, Gene. Okay.
You guys right here. Okay. Okay. So, um, what did you think of um, the judges uh, picking a winner for each round? Did you agree with what they said? Oh, you know, it's, it's just their opinion. It's, you know, we, we, we got to the point that whatever happens, that we're two completely different artists, and, you know, we wish each other the best you know, throughout our careers. So. Jessica, Jessica? Okay, guys, we've got to wrap it. I'm so sorry. They've got to go to rehearsal, so you guys are going to come this way.